Thomas Cedarman asks, What's my favorite handheld? Do I prefer the legendary Triforce or the super powerful Chaos Emeralds? And can I be first on the list? Um... Hmm. My, my, my favorite handheld would probably be the 3DS, because there are so many good games on that. There's so much... The hardware is amazing, the games are amazing, just everything about the 3DS is amazing. And I prefer the, I prefer the Triforce of the Chaos Emeralds. That's basically, yeah, easy choice for me, Triforce of the Chaos Emeralds. And I'm sorry you're not first on the list. Sorry about that. Um, Bob McBob asks, How do you feel about Shred? Who's your main in Smash? And what capture card are you using in this video? He's talking about the announcement of the Q&A video. It looked good. Um, Shred, Shred's alright. He's a... He's silly as a meme, but but the films are kind of good. Like the first one was good. The set the first one was pretty good. The second one was great. The third one was eh, and the fourth one was good. That's the way I look at it. And as a meme, he's kind of funny, but nothing overly funny in my eyes. Um, who do I mean Smash? Since since my Smash Brothers count does that, I can say my main is Shulk. I I mean Shulk every day and night. Shulk, amazing. And the capture I'm using was a capture card from Katsu Kitty from um. It, you, you, can, you can get it from Capsule Kitty. That's the capture card that I did. It's just built into it. Okay, um, Mega Fire Guy 6 asks, Favorite girl in in Honey Pop? Well, now that I've done my April Fool's video, I can see who my favorite girl is. Um, I don't know. Maybe between... Who, um... I think Lola, the Xenoblade Chronicles ex-girl, and Kiana, because she was just genuinely nice. I, I, I don't know. I haven't played more of the game, so I don't... I After the April Fool's video, I have not touched that game, so I have absolutely no idea. Okay. Yeah. Um, I play Bassoon asks, What is your favorite Japanese RPG? I know you were totally excited for the 3DS ports of Dragon Quest 7 VII and 8. In class-based RPGs, what is your favorite class? And what are your top five favorite anime and American cartoons? Um, my favorite JRPG, like I say, Xenoblade Chronicles, and... I'm not really excited about Dragon Quest. I've never been to Dragon Quest or anything. And class-based RPG is also my favorite class. Um, maybe like either the Warrior or the Thief. Those are the two that really, that really, that really speak to me. I just really like those two classes. And top of my favorite anime in Marine Hunters. I've already said my favorite animes, which are um, Kill a Kill, Seven Deadly Sins, Food Wars, and Guilty Pleasure, Sword Art Online. But my, I, have a t I have quite a lot of cartoons that, uh, I mean, like, like Futurama and stuff, I just can't think of any other American cartoons, so, y y yeah, that's pretty much the, I don't have a top five of those because I've never really thought about it. Okay, um, Monique Lily Potter asks, what are your top ten least favorite Pokemon? What game are you looking forward to the most this year, and what are your top ten favorite Legend of Zelda characters? Um, I don't know what my top ten least favorite Pokemon is because there's a lot of Pokemon that, most Pokemon I'm either indifferent to or... I I, lo I either like them or I'm indifferent to. And before you ask, I don't hate Kingdra. I've never hated Kingdra. Kingdra is a pretty cool Pokemon. I just I just realized while scripting that um, Kingdra appeared as a lot of, of and appeared in a lot of teams on my my hardest boss on my hardest Pokemon battles list. So I just decided to make that a joke out of it, just because it because I just thought it worked well. Okay, what game are you looking forward to the most this year? Zelda Wii U. Hopefully that comes out this year. And I told them favorite Legend of Zelda characters. I don't know. There are so many characters that I can't even bother listing them. Like characters like Midna and Link, uh, Ganondorf. Just so many characters that I really like. Zeta Steel NSS mod asks, "What are some of your favorite consoles? Opinion on the Metal Gear series and favorite kinds of music?" Um, I mean, some of my favorite consoles are like the Wii, um, the 3DS, um, PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, PC. Just, just. I don't really have multiple favorite consoles, I just, there's a lot of, I don't, I don't think of it in terms of consoles, I just think of it in terms of games. That's how I've always thought about it. Uh, opinion on the Metal Gear series, I want to like the Metal Gear series, I probably will get into the Metal Gear series, I will, probably will like the Metal Gear series if I get into it, I just have to get into it, which I have not yet. So yeah, favorite kinds of music, I've already said, I just like music that I like, I don't have any particular preference for music. Yeah, um, Pros and Lava Reflector asks, general opinions on the Ratchet and Clank series, Places you want to visit the most, and general opinions on the Fire Emblem series. Um, I haven't played any Ratchet & Clank games, and they look, I, I guess they look mildly interesting. I've just never really had enough of a drive to really try them out. Um, places I want to visit the most, I want to visit Japan. I want to go to Japan and just see what happens there. 
Uh, and my general opinions on the Fire Emblem series, it looks mildly interesting, but hopefully after my let's play I'll get more into it. Okay, um, Michael Bertolano asks, What is a game that you like from your least favorite genre? What is your favorite type of fighting game character? And who is your favorite anti-hero? Um, guess, like, probably one of my least favorite genres is the FPS genre, and I really like, um, I really like Team Fortress, I, I like Team Fortress 2, so I would say, yeah, T Team Fortress 2 is probably one of my favorite games of my least favorite genre, Team Fortress That was redundant the whole time. Um, favorite type of funny in character, I you this seems ironic, but I typically, tr I usually like speed characters, usually. I, I, I like characters who can move fast. Those are typically the ones I... Traditionally, those are the ones I'm naturally drawn to, like characters that have some speed behind them. Those are the ones I really like. Just one, just like ones that can that can move fast and combo well. Those ones I like. My favorite anti-hero... Um, I don't know, Shadow? I don't know, Shadow might be my favorite anti-hero. I honestly don't know. Okay, the, um, the Delphaville asks, Is there any features you don't want to see in the upcoming Pokemon Sun and Moon? If you have played it, where would you rank Mario and Luigi Paper Gem Bros within the Mario and Luigi series, and what is my stance on Sonic Boom, both the video games and the TV series? Um, like I said, I don't want there to be HMs in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like, there's no point having them. No one likes them, so just get rid of them. They, 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 don't, they serve us nothing, pretty much. Just, yeah. Okay, um, if I've played it, where would I rank? Probably I'd say it's hard, because I think... As a whole, I would rank it, out of the five Mario Luigi games, fourth? Like, higher than Partners in Time, but below Bowser's Inside Story. Because I just think, like, the thing is, while Partners in Time are, is kind of low down there, um, the top four are all pretty clustered together. Because that's how I've always viewed them. They're, like, very close in quality, those four. Uh, but... Paper Jam Bros might be a little further down towards Paper, uh, that Parms in Time more than the others. Okay, and, um, the sense is only good. The video games are atrocious, I have no idea in them, and, well, the TV series, I've watched a couple episodes, and while some are, yeah, they're pretty average, if not bad, there have been some decent episodes that I was, that I actually kind of liked, like, um, uh, what was it, like, The Crystal, where, um, you had a body swap episode between Sonic and Eggman, but the reason that I liked it was that the voices weren't just the voices in the opposite bodies. It was the voice actors doing an impression of each other. So, like, it was Mike Pollock, Eggman's voice actor, doing an impression of Sonic. And Sonic's voice actor doing an impression of Eggman. So... That's, that's what it is, so it's, like, that always bothered me about body swap, is was like, what, you would have the other person's voice. I mean, you'd have your speaking pattern, but you'd have their voice. So, that makes sense. And the other one I like was, um, was um, the one with the universal translator that, that would translate any language, but if you spoke English into it, it would translate subtext. I mean, like, that, that, that was a really cool idea, and they, and they, I'd really like to have seen more of that. Like, that, that was a really cool concept, but a lot of it is kind of shit, yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, Link the Sniper asks, If you had to pick a single weapon from any video game ever, what would it be and why? I would say the Monado, because if I had the power, if I had the power to have visions, then as well as all the different Monado powers, and of course having a badass sword like that, my life would be utterly complete having a weapon like that. Um, Spectre Katana asks, What is your favorite food? What is your dream house? And what is your dream car? Um, my favorite food, like I've said, is like chocolate cake. It's just like the perfect kind of thing for me. Um, my dream house, um, I don't really have a dream house, I just, like, want a house that's decent size, like, decent space for, like, kitchen, living room, nice, that's, I don't really have any other things, I just, like, want a nice house, like, a nice thing, like, so I can have, like, a room where I could record stuff and play video games, like, like, well, we then also watch movies with family and friends, that, that kind of stuff, just, like, something that would work. Um, my dream car, I've never been into, into cars, like, probably, like, one that looks nice and goes... That's the kind of, like, dream car that I'd have. Um, the Blue Blur asks, What is your favorite area in Xenoblade Chronicles? Have you played Xenoblade Chronicles X? And what is your favorite song from the Xenoblade series? Um, my favorite area in Xenoblade Chronicles, I'd probably have to say Valak Mountain, because if you've been to Valak Mountain, you know exactly why it's my favorite area in the game. It's 
amazing. And yes, I've already, I've already spoken spoken about my opinions on Xenoblade Chronicles X, and I'd rather not go into that any further. And and my favorite song of the Xenoblade series. Maybe you will know our names, but I'm not certain. Probably, maybe you will know our names, but I'm not certain. Okay, um. Callum Buddy asks, How and where did you get a 3DS capture card? Who are your biggest inspirations in terms of making countdowns? And how did you develop your style? Um, basically, um, to get a 3DS capture card, I ordered it from Katsu Kitty. Um, I basically, like, purchased, essentially, in, in, in a sense, I purchased a new an actual 3DS from them, which they got from Amazon, which I can tell from the packaging when I got it. Um, then they got it sent to them, they installed the capture card into the, into my new 3DS, and then sent it over to me. So that's pretty much how it works. You can get them from Katsukiri. The price, de depending on different things, the price may vary, but for the most part it's, it's quite a bit, but it, in the end it is kind of reasonable. Um, for my next inspiration to making countdowns, that's the Altarch and Josh. I will always say the Altarch and Josh were the ones who inspired me to make countdowns. How I developed my style, I don't know, do I have a style? I just did stuff because I wanted to do stuff. I just made videos because I made videos. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, um, the Stupid Raptor asks, How much do you hate Mooncar? What do you think of My Little Pony Friendship's magic? And who is your waifu? Well, the, the S's in brackets, assuming I have multiples. Um, how much do I hate Mooncar? That will be discussed in the Xenoblade Chronicles countdown, you can trust me on that. But what I think of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, I don't, I don't really, really have any strong opinion one way or the other. I'm, I'm impartial to it. I don't really like it, but then I don't dislike it either. It's just kind of there and I put up with it. Um, who is my waifus? Who are, who are my waifus? Um, like I said, people know my Smash waifu is Robin, with Corrin as competition, but probably my proper waifu, like I said, is probably Lana from Hyrule Warriors. Okay, um, the Green Shy Guy asks, Do you ever plan on making another skit-like video with your friends, but more thought out and a lot less cringeworthy? Is there any spot in your top 100 favorite games list that's changed significantly? And do you like drawing or have any artistic capabilities in that form of art? Um, like I said a while ago, um, Basically, the skits are all done, are all written and organized by my friend Yesone, and if he comes up with an idea for one, we might do it, but if not, then probably not. Who knows, really. Um, and just one thing that has changed significantly, other than Sticker Star, I don't think any have really changed, because Sticker Star has gone from being like 72 down, like all the way to one of my least favorite games ever. Yeah. And I have no other artistic talents. I can't draw, I can't paint, I can't do anything else. I, I have no talent in that regard. Sorry to disappoint you. Uh, okay, um... Grim Jow Lover 123 asks, Are you familiar with the Harvest Moon series, and if so, have you played any of them? Are there any characters in the current Smash game that you wish were included, or could... Any characters in the current Smash game that you wish were included, or could potentially return as DLC? And have you seen any of the video game-based cartoons, and if so, what are your thoughts on them? Um, like I said, I, I haven't played any Harvest Moon games, so I don't have any opinions on them. Uh, any characters in the current Smash game that you wish were included or potentially return as DLC? Well, returning characters, I'd like to see Wolf return because the thing is, I never really played Wolf that much, but when I went back to Brawl to get footage for um, the, the Smash Brothers countdown, I decided to play Wolf for a little bit, and I didn't realize how good Wolf was until I played Smash 4 and came back, and it's like, I miss him now. He was really cool. I play him way better than I play Fox or Falco. I, I don't know, just Wolf really connected with me when I went back to playing Brawl. I'm like, why did they remove him? He was so cool. And I guess I'd also like to see Shovel Knight and maybe Ryan. Well, well Ryan's mostly a joke, but Shovel Knight mostly. Um, any new video game may start to I've already talked about Sonic Boom. I've seen a lot of the Sonic... TV shows. The only one that's really good, I'd say, is Sonic Sat AM, which is actually pretty good. Um, I've seen the Mega Man TV show. Um, it was decent, but nothing special. Um, the Mario shows were terrible, but that was kind of their charm. Uh, this other one is terrible, but that but it's not charming. Um, um, Kirby, Kirby Right Back at you, I actually enjoyed, and the Pokemon anime is still going, but I've fallen out of watching it. So, I don't know. Uh, okay, um, Valkyrian asks, If you've seen the trailer for it, what's your plan on Paper Mario Color Splash? What's one countdown you haven't got around to recording on, even though you've really wanted to, wanted to for a while now, and least favorite Pokemon generation? 
Uh, I've already said I'm not looking forward to Color Splash. I'm probably not going to get it unless the consensus is wildly different from Sticker Star. Unless that happens, I'm not going to not going to get it. Um, and there's no at the moment of my countdown making career, you would call it. I don't know. Maybe just phase. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. This is not career or anything, but. Um, there's none particularly at the moment that I really, really want to do, but, well, maybe there is, but I'd rather not say that because it's spoiling stuff I might have for later on down the line, but at the moment, no, yes, but me also no, I'm not sure. At least if you're a Pokemon Generation Gen 1, it's really not that good in my eyes. Okay, um, Armored Guardian asks, how different do you think your life would be if you never got into video gaming or video making? Overall thoughts in the gaming industry, and what's the most random event that's ever happened to you? Um, I don't know. Video games are so ingrained into my life that I actually cannot think of my life without it. That kind of thing. I can't even comprehend my life without it. I don't know. What my life would be like, I have no idea what it would be like. I can't even, like, imagine my life without it. It's so ingrained as part of who I am that I can't even not think about it. And, and, and the same with video making. Well, maybe I can sort of imagine without video making that maybe I wouldn't have been introduced to a lot of, a lot of games, a lot of people. I wouldn't have been introduced to them. So probably, I don't know. I have no idea how different my life would be. It would be different, definitely, but I can't even fathom how different it would be. Yeah, your world of the gaming industry, eh, there, eh, there's some, th there's some gold and there's some turds. There's, there's some good, good stuff, there's some bad stuff, there's just, you take the good with the bad, although maybe there are a couple of things that could be improved in the gaming industry, but for now I guess it's kinda alright, but until, but not really other than that, yeah. And what's the most random event that's ever happened to me? This is... I mean, I asked this question before, like, when I was preparing for it, I still don't know what to think of it. What's the most random event? Because, uh, I don't know. Um, because, like, I don't know what to define random, because it's, like, what may be random to you guys in my life n not seem random to me. That kind of thing. So, while I could tell some random event that you guys would think was random... I wouldn't think of it being random, but I'm trying to think, like, what could it be? Um, no, wait, no, wait, I, no, wait, I think I got it. Okay, I think it, I think it did. Um, this was during my first year of high school, um, and we were, basically, like, this, this was when I was, like, uh, I don't know what to do. I was year seven. I'm not sure how that translates to um, U.S. schooling or stuff. Basically, let's see, I was... I was 13. I was the year in school you would be 13 and I was doing like um, the production, like a musical kind of thing. So I was off doing that. So then basically I was kind of like a socially awkward thing. I, I got better as school went on, but at that point I was really awkward. But um, so like I was just sitting there like playing away on like, I, was, I think I was like playing like Diamond on my DS or something. I think that's what I was doing. So I was just like sitting there. I was just playing my DS, like minding my own business. Um, then as it turns out, two girls, like two older girls, like two to three years older than me, I think they were having like a kissing competition, like how many guys they could kiss or something. So, but the thing is, remember, I had no idea this was happening because I was just an awkward little shit, just like playing on my, my DS, just like in the corner somewhere. So then um, I'm just sitting there playing. Then a girl walks right up to me, grabs my cheeks, lifts my head up, plants one on me, and walks away. And I have no context for this. So I'm just left there. What just happened? And I just, I was like stunned for like a minute, and I just, I just went back to my games. I was like, okay, probably, it, it probably meant nothing. Let's just ignore that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was really random. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, yeah, um, Okay, let's move on. Um, Dragger De Rebel asks, What's your favorite segment in games? What's your favorite video game soundtrack? And do you have a new top 10 favorite games list? Um, I don't have a particular favorite segment because there's 
too many goddamn ones for me to list. There are just so many I can't list them. So many things like this because they ask like so broad questions that I can't even answer them. That I can't even answer them. It's just crazy. Um, okay, favorite video game soundtrack. That's probably between um, Xenoblade Chronicles, um, a few of the Zelda games, um, and o Okami, Pokemon. So many games, but let's let, let, let's keep it between Xenoblade Chronicles and Okami. Right? Let's keep it between those two. And I don't really have a new top ten video games list. There's maybe two new ones. I know that Xenoblade Chronicles is now the third, but I don't know where the other new game is. So I wouldn't say that's a new list. That's just Kind of the old one with a few changes. Okay, um, Francesco De Poppa asks, Who inspired you to be a YouTuber? What was your favorite cartoon as a kid? And... Porn or hentai? Um, who inspired me to be a countdown? I said that was The Autark and Josh Scorcher. Probably my favorite cartoon as a kid was between The Simpsons and Ben 10. The first Ben 10 before they got all conv convoluted and shitty. And the last question... What? Porner? What kind of question is that? I'm not even going to dig that with an answer, it's just like, what the fuck?